we are doing yet another vlog video and this time I'm gonna talk about Call of Duty the first game because that's the only Call of Duty game I ever played and I'm gonna talk a little bit about World War 2 movies and I'll do random stuff around my Minecraft world first I'll oh my god I have a lot of meat Jesus Christ we got a lot of leather too. I can make more books. That's definitely one thing I'm gonna do. Make more books. Uh, so yeah. Call of Duty. The first one. Well, I actually enjoy that game very much. Um, it was a well done game. Uh, to be honest, I can't really remember much about it. Well, I can, but the problem is I played the original, the first Call of Duty game almost the same time as I played uh, the first Medal of Honor game. And those games are very much alike. So it's hard for me to remember the differences. So correct me if I'm wrong. But what I really liked about it, it was a really great semi-realistic game. Um, with I like that you played as three different uh, countries. You played as the US, you played as uh, the British people and the Russian. Now this might be in Medal of Honor, but I think this was Call of Duty actually. And I really enjoyed especially the last mission. Where am I going? I don't need to go here. Oh, these are grown up. Okay. Uh, but the last mission where you play as the Russian, taking Berlin, that was like the best. I loved the ending where you stood on top of the the Reichstag, I think that's what it's called, and waved the the Soviet flag. That was pretty damn awesome. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that game. How do I do this? Uh, oh, here we go. No, no, no! Oh, you stupid motherfucker. Um. It was fun, some nice uh, gameplay. wasn't uh, wasn't really that difficult. wasn't too difficult anyway. Um, and whoopty, nine bucks. And um, what I'm gonna say? Yeah, it there w there were some uh, some. Uh, times that it was really difficult but Jesus Christ what am I doing but it really wasn't like I said it wasn't that difficult at times it wasn't uh, any pl time where I was dying a lot no that was wrong I I can't concentrate on two things at once it's pretty embarrassing but yeah there were there were places where I died a lot but overall the game wasn't really that hard there's always going to be in games these few places that you just die over and over again before you can complete them and that's different from player to player to, uh, where these uh, places are now I know that I have talked a lot bad things about the Call of Duty series and to be honest like I said I haven't played that much um, but and it isn't really the the game itself that I don't like it's the community around it and I'm not of course not talking about all of the people who play the game because I cannot know but it's the whole worship Call of Duty like it's religion that I just hate but and there's a lot of it it's like oh call of duty is the best game ever and, and now it's like i said i have only played the first game but i can honestly say that i don't think that i would uh, consider call of duty to be the ga best game series ever even if i had played all of them and i don't think you can say that it's, uh, some game is the best game and I feel sorry for people who only play one game and that is a lot of the Call of Duty players that do I'm not trying to say that I'm not saying all of them but a lot of people are like and it's not only Call of Duty it's a lot of games but I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy Call of Duty 
especially the first ones, the the World War Two ones. And I don't think I would be that much into the modern warfare Black Ops thing, but I'll probably play them at some times, and I'll probably think, hey, decent game. Um, but it's it's not a game that I, I don't think that it will be a game that I will be like revisiting. Uh, it is uh, uh, made a lot for multiplayer, and I'm not a multiplayer kind of guy. I really don't like multiplayer, and it's... I don't know, I just find it kind of boring, to be honest. Um, but I enjoyed the first Call of Duty game, I'll admit that. And, I'm n and people who enjoy Call of Duty, fine. It's okay, but it's it's like... If you look at YouTube, and that's one of the other things I don't like about Call of Duty. The the whenever a new, a new channel arrives, I think the number one game that people play is Minecraft, which I'm in right now. Uh, I would never, however, make an entire channel about Minecraft, um, and it's okay if you do that. But the problem is, everybody seems to be doing that. The second most played game on YouTube is probably Call of Duty, and these videos are often two minute long and look at and it's and a lot of it's about oh look at this I, I I I sniped without using the scope or I killed a lot of people and to me that's just boring uh, but uh, it's they keep coming those channels I don't know why I've seen channels where people use uh, Call of Duty t uh, to like walk and I think that's okay. I mean, that's impressive, actually, that they can do it. Like, walk around, play a game like that, and multiplayer, and walk at the same time. That's quite impressive. And like I said, I don't mind people playing, mo <laughs> uh, making those channels. I just, I've seen a lot of the channel, uh, Call of Duty channels, like, have a ton of, a shitload of, of subscribers, but almost no views. So I'm thinking that a lot of people just subscribe because it's Call of Duty and then never watch the videos. I don't know. But I will not be judging uh, the Call of Duty games. I know I have been uh, have done that in the past and that was wrong of me. I have only played the first game and I enjoyed that game. But I don't know. It's just there's a weird community around Call of Duty games, and a lot of people will agree with me. I even think that a lot of Call of Duty players will agree that the community around Call of Duty is kind of mixed. There's some that are players that are playing it and having fun, and then there's the worshippers who kind of just... Uh, mostly, I think, a lot of 12-year-old boys who come on the game. This is what I've heard. I'm not saying that this is how it is. This is just what I've been told. That there's a lot of 12-year-old boys coming on the game and just saying, Oh, this is the best game ever. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck your mother. And stuff like that. And that's actually... I would never want to play on a server if that's how it is. And I've heard that is as a lot of those players. But like I said, I have only played the first Call of Duty game. And I liked it. So, I have given up a lot of a lot of mixed <laughs> opinions right now. Even I'm confused. Um, but let's talk about movies. I've never been a really big fan of war movies uh, at all. Never. I, I, there was a po point in my life when I was really into Vietnam movies, but and uh, then again, I have. But all all in all, I've never really been a fan of war movies, but there are war movies among my favorite movies, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of them. The first one I'm going to mention is Stalingrad, which is a German war movie seen from the German point of view uh, about the battle at Stalingrad in Russia, or in the Soviet Union, and that's actually, it's an amazing movie, it's a really brutal movie, long brutal movie, but it's refreshing to see a the the war from the German uh, view, because that's and that's the thing that uh, a lot of people forget. The German soldiers weren't all Nazis. They were actually most of them were actually just forced to to 
become soldiers and fight for the Nazis, but weren't really so. It's it's kind of refreshing to see the the war from that perspective. So Stalingrad, German movie, really awesome. Then we have a movie called Female Agents. I kind of hate the title, but I think the the it's a French movie, and the French title sounds so much better. And I think, but I think it actually it, it does translate to Female Agents. But it's a movie of it's based on a true story about some French women who has escaped France during World War Two. And they now um, have been recruited by the British army to go back to France uh, undercover to save some, I think it's an archaeologist or something, who has some knowledge about the war. And it's a really, really great movie. I hadn't actually expected it to be as great as it was. Really great uh, story and great acting. Uh, next movie is a movie called Come and See, and this is probably the most brutal World War II movie ever. Uh, it's a it's a Soviet movie from the Soviet made in the Soviet Union in the mid 80s about a boy who finds a gun and then joins the Russian army, and it shows how brutal the war is. It is. I I can't describe how brutal this movie is, and it's a little weird as well. But that's a thing about Soviet movies were almost always kind of weird and strange. But uh, yeah, Come and See is an amazing World War Two movie. I think there's missing something here. This looks dumb. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Next movie is Days of Glory. Which is a French and, well, an Algerian and French movie. It's mostly Algerian. Uh, I, think I'm, I, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's about um, uh, some soldiers who from Algeria. Algeria? Is that the name of the country? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, who join uh, the army, the French army, during World War Two, And it's about how they are like separated from their other friends army even the other uh like uh, uh like i can't remember what i was going to say but yeah it's about it's kind of about the racism i guess uh and it's a really great movie they're like the the bottom of the food chain in this movie the algerians and um but it's it's a really cool movie. The last one is also German, and it is Der Untergang. And people probably know that movie, also known as Downfall, about the last few hours of Adolf Hitler's life and about and about the end of World War Two, pretty much. And I really love that movie. It is one of the best World War Two movies ever made. And and the reason why I think it's so good, it's, it's, I think it's the the thing that really makes this a great movie is that you actually f kind of feel sorry for Adolf Hitler, and when someone can make you feel sorry for someone as brutal as that, then that is a great director. And I think you kind of do feel sorry for him. I did. And 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 it, it gives Hitler a human face because here's here's something most people don't think about hitler didn't think he was doing anything wrong and that's a, a thing that most people don't think about he th thought he was doing something good something right he never and, and that's what you see in this movie and, and among other things and but it's it's a, such an amazing movie I think that's uh, all the World War Two movies I'm going to talk about this time, because I know that uh, there's going to be other World War Two games I'm going to review. Like I, I for instance, talked about Medal of Honor, but also other movies. Um, but yeah, Call of Duty, the first game, the only game I ever played of the series. I loved it. Um, what are the and to just to sum up that whole mess of a. Explanation I talked about earlier. 
Uh, the thing I don't like about the Call of Duty series is the way that th a lot of, of fans, I'm not saying all, it might not even be a majority, but a lot still of the Call of, du Call of Duty fans seems to think that this is the only game, this is the world's greatest game, and they are entitled, they, they made entitled to feel like that, but could you please just keep it to yourself? That's the problem, is that they are always all over the place shouting how great this game is. And that's what I don't like about it. You don't see me go around saying, Oh, Duke, 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 Duke is the best game ever. Whoa. And, I don't know. Play the game. Ah, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. The color, I, I actually enjoyed it. I don't think that I, the, the problem, the, the thing that Call of Duty has become... I'm not so sure that I'd like, even though I haven't played it, but some things... I mean, before I watched Twilight, I knew I was going to hate the movie. So, yeah. Like I said, you're not a bad person for playing Call of Duty. Of course you're not. I'm, I actually have friends playing Call of, who play Call of Duty, and they're still good people. We just... And... Uh, okay, I'm not going to talk anymore, because I'm... <laughs> I don't make sense. Uh, World War Two mo movies. If you notice, there weren't any American World War Two movies, and there's a reason for that. Whenever Amer the U.S. makes a World War Two movie, it's it becomes too heroic. It's it's all about oh yeah, we saved your ass, and I don't just don't like that. So, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And remember, I don't hate people who play Call of Duty. Sometimes. There's actually a lot of nice people who play Call of Duty. I just can't stand the fact that some people are treating it almost like religion. And that's not just Call of Duty, that's everything. If you do this with Minecraft, yeah, don't. If you do it with Halo, the, 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 the same thing goes on with Halo. Stop treating games like they are a fucking religion, like this nothing else and especially stop treating games like it's real life oh just one thing i'd mention no i'll keep i'll save that for a later story hoo hoo now people get excited and probably not but uh yeah call of duty world war 2 movies and uh yeah i'll see you next vlog for another game and other movies bye